Hey everybody, Kiara here bringing you a Super Mario Odyssey tutorial. In this video, I'll walk you through every purple coin location in the Seaside Kingdom so you can aim for 100% completion. Before we get started, it will help the channel a lot if you were to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also, I do stream a gameplay walkthrough of Super Mario Odyssey on Twitch if you want to check that out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. The first three coins are up the cliff face to the left of the starting area. Just wall jump up the narrow crevice to make it. The next three are in the shallow water beside the starting area. Head over to the beach house. Facing southwest from the flag marker, check behind the beach chairs to find the next three coins. The next set is right past coins 7 through 9. Dive in the water to get them. Again from the beach house flag, head past the rankings board by the volleyball net into the water. Turn around towards the beach once you're in the water to see three coins hiding beneath an overhang. Capture the Gushin just beyond coins 13 through 14 by the ring of gold coins. Then head to the grass ledge south of it. Use the Gushin to propel up to grab the three purple coins out of sight and out of reach if not for the Gushin. From the beach house flag, face north and ever so slightly west. There's a point there through shallow water. Dive down on the west side of it and grab three purple coins hiding beneath an overhang underwater. Fast travel to Rolling Canyon and look south ever so slightly to the west. You'll see a set of three purple coins in a small outcrop of the cliff. Also from the Rolling Canyon flag, climb up the cliff right next to it. Hop down to the thin patch of beach below from coins 24 through 26 and follow it southward to find another batch of three purple coins. Continue in the water past purple coins 27 through 23. Remain in the water and dive down past the revolving spiky balls. Now climb up the ledge past that revolving spiky ball hazard by coins 31 through 33 to find another batch of three. From the Rolling Canyon flag, head north and dive down from between the two pillars on the cliff. There are three coins in a crevice. Fast travel to the Glass Palace. You can see three coins underwater from that flag if you face west. Look northeast of the Glass Palace flag and you'll see three more purple coins underwater. These are just a little trickier. There are four pipes just northwest of the Glass Palace flag. If you're looking at them from the palace platform, enter the bottom right one. There's a Koopa pacing back and forth on a small block and question block platform. Hit it from below or jump on top of it so it retreats into its shell. Then push the Koopa shell to the right. The shell will break a block allowing you to get into an area to the right. Make sure you leave at least one of these blocks so that you could get up to the three purple coins. Again from the Glass Palace flag, head past the treasure chest to the north. You can see a device making a stream of large bubbles in the water. It's surrounded by four coins. From coins 49 to 52, keep heading north ever so slightly west. There are a few holes in the coral wall up ahead. One of them holds three purple coins. Warp to Hot Springs Island. There are three coins just beyond the umbrella you can see if you face southeast. Back at the Hot Spring Island flag, look down into the smaller pool of water right next to it. Jump in to collect three purple coins. Dive into the larger pool next to the Hot Spring Island flag to find another three coins hiding in a crevice in the pool wall by the flag. Jump into the water south of the Hot Spring Island flag right behind an umbrella. There are three vertical coins on some coral platforms. Continue south from coins 65 through 67. There are three more purple coins just ahead on a ledge underwater on your right. 
The Ocean Trench East fast travel point is underwater just north of Hot Spring Island. From there, capture a cheap cheap and head west. There are three purple coins on a ledge deep underwater here. Go east from the Ocean Trench East fast travel flag. There are a few pearlescent platforms leading to a crevice in the rock wall to the right. Go up it to find a secret pathway with three purple coins. There's an entrance on the southwest side of the lighthouse at its base. You can warp to the flag, jump down, and enter to grab three purple coins. Just to the left of coin 77 through 79, there's a crevice with water. Jump down to gather three coins. There are three coins north of the lighthouse on piles of sand in shallow water. Jump over the spiky ball traps to gather all the coins. Go into the pipe next to the lighthouse warp flag to get into the underwater tunnel to the lighthouse. Straight ahead are three purple coins. Also in the underwater tunnel to the lighthouse, capture Cheap Cheap and go past the wooden crates and survive the eels to find three more coins. Jump into the water to the east of the lighthouse warp flag. There are three purple coins in a small rock pass through. Warp to the above rolling canyon fast travel flag. Break the boxes behind you and follow the short trail it reveals. There will be three coins to your right. From Ocean Trench West, capture Cheap Cheap and head northeast into the kelp forest looking area. There are three coins in a ditch. That will be all the purple coins in the Seaside Kingdom. I hope this tutorial video helped you. If it did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more Nintendo content. Also, please check out my Twitch where I stream my gameplay walkthrough of Super Mario Odyssey. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.